In this video, we are going to find out if rubbing alcohol kill mealybug or not. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. So of course, what you'll need is rubbing alcohol and I already have a little dispenser of alcohol here, my small bottle. We also need some mealy bag. I have a Van Keppel here that's really tightly packed and I have a tweezer. I use the tweezer to extract the mealy bug. And a lot of times the tweezer itself can't even get in the crevices. And so what I like to use is also toothpick. Now this toothpick has already got a blunt end. See there? But then if your toothpick has got a sharp end like this one, you can get a file, nail file, and just sort of file it a little bit to blunt it up. So that one is now, okay, there you go. That's already blunt enough, but still pointy enough. So you can see some mealybug in there. Oops, those little white fluffy bits inside there, anyway. So I have to get in there, and the tweezer can't get in there, so I use a toothpick. Oopsie. See, I got the little white cottony mealy bug. So that one's got mealy bug and it's dead. So you can just poke it with a toothpick. Okay, look, I got that one. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's a proper mealy bug. I'm just twisting or turning the toothpick to pull them out. See? The cotton comes off. And if the mealybug doesn't come out, you can jab it with the toothpick without poking your plant or cutting your plant. There you go. There you go. Oh, yep, I got it. Look at that. There's blood. Just so you can see. There you go. That's now dead. That's mealybug blood. So you just have to check. Also, one trick is spraying it with alcohol. Okay. That just exposes the mealybug, but it doesn't really kill it, okay. So hang on, that one now, there's a bit of mealybug in there, see that black spot? So once you put alcohol or spray alcohol in them, that exposes the mealybug because it gets rid of the white coating. There you go, is that a big mealybug there? Yep, there you go. See, now. That mealybug have actually, uh, there you go, now. Okay, so that's basically what I use the alcohol for, to just expose the mealybug, but not kill it, because it doesn't really kill it. Now, I'm going to show you now. Let's go, I'll just clean this white plate here. A Chavaria Gansen is love by mealybug. So this one now, I can guarantee you, Yes, look at them. I need to get a healthy mealybug. Look at that, it's running, it's running, it's running for its life. Sorry. There you go. Yes, I got one. Mealybugs. You can see that's moving, in it? Come on. I'm gonna... Okay, so now that is still alive. And what we're gonna do is, should I get some more? So it can be more fun. I'll try and get some more, okay? I now have a healthy collection of mealybug that's running around. Look at them, they're running everywhere. I'll put my toothpick here so you can see. It's alive, it's alive. Okay, so you got that one. That one is also running around and this big one is was and there's a few even that one see look now we're gonna spray it with alcohol and ready spray whoopsie oops <laughs> hang on we're just gonna <laughs> I think I better just use a drop there you go 
over there so that one is still alive we'll put a drop and that one too we'll put a drop I think it was funny anyway it was a big one the big one which is and let's just put a whole heap on a whole lot of them okay and that one too and you and you oopsie go away okay did I cover everything or that one I miss? There you go. So I'm going to let the alcohol dry up and we'll get back and see what the mealybug does. I'll just put the toothpick in the middle here so that way we can uh, do orientation and see what it looks like. So this is now a good 10 minutes and the alcohol has dried up. And I just seen my first uh, activity. See, look at that one. Okay, I'm just going to remove the toothpick here. Okay, and point it out. So that one, look at that one. It's running, look. Wonder if you're going to go on the toothpick. It turned around. Go. And then there's movement up the top here as well. That one just moved. I think I just saw that one. Yep, it's moving. Look, 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 it's moving. It's alive. It's alive. Look at it. There you go. Look at that. So it's going up and down, trying to wriggle its way out of... Okay, turning over, turning down. <laughs> this is watching we just basically it knocks them around they just sort of get dizzy and probably knock them out and then once the alcohol dries up they come back to life well they haven't died in the first place and so that goes to show that alcohol doesn't work well well at least the ones we get in Australia because we can only get 64 percent maybe we can get a stronger strength but I'm worried that it might hurt your succulent as the same as with methylated spirits or metho as we call it in Australia. So look at that one. Hang on, what's the other one? The other one's already gone. It's escaping. So that one now is running to the edge here. And then all the other little ones as well. I see movement. See that one too? Oopsie. See that one there? That's also moving. And where else? that one oh so this big one as well hang on are you still alive no it's still wet so that one's still wet so but anyway there goes to show you i mean goes to show that 64 percent alcohol okay i'm gonna uh, stipulate this 64 percent alcohol which is what we get here in australia doesn't work so whether the other stronger strength alcohol will work or rubbing alcohol will work, I don't know. But that's all I've got available to me. So this is now debunking the... So it's now like a myth that alcohol works because it doesn't. That's almost like a um, swear word with growing succulents or a cursing word, millibug. Millibug. So if you get upset with something, you say... Mealy bug! <laughs>